Good morning. My name is Kelly Lee, and I'll be your worship leader this morning. Let us recite our vision together. We are an inviting church that shows love by nurturing our members and empowering them to grow spiritually in God's word and reaching out to share the good news of Jesus. Our call to worship. Come out of the darkness of doubt. We, we come, come to, to seek, seek the light. light. Open your hearts to receive God's healing love. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to see you and to feel, feel your, your loving presence. presence. Amen. Amen. Please join us in our opening hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, in the United Methodist Hymnal, page 526. <laughs> seated. Please join me in the opening prayer. Gracious God, you have given yourself to us in the person of Jesus. We have an example of loving ministry as a guide for our lives. We stand as people forgiven and reconciled to you. Be with us this day. Remind us that you are always near. Guide our lives for we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcement is recognition of visitors. Church, church isn't just for Sundays. This week, at, on Wednesday at 6 p.m., the Jubilant Voices will have choir rehearsal. On Thursday at 5.30 p.m., there will be prayer meeting and Sunday at 8.30 a.m. Sunday school and 10 a.m. worship service. 
Happy birthday to all of our birthdays and happy anniversary to all celebrating an April anniversary. May God continue to bless you. Please read and give attention to the following announcement. If you'd like to see what, is, what, what the church is planning for the year, go to the church website, which is listed in the bulletin. You can click the More tab and select Calendar. The upcoming events are finance meeting, excuse me, looking for this one. Mother's Day celebration will be held May 14th, 2023 at the 10 a.m. worship service. The United Women of Faith will be on May 21st, 2023 at the 10 a.m. worship service. And we will have uh, Graduate Recognition Sunday on May 28th, 2023. We'll also have Vacation Bible School Tuesday, May the 30th through June the 3rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. And the Louisiana Annual Conference will be Tuesday, June the 13th through Friday, June 16th. The Methodist men will travel to Cornerstone United Methodist Church today at 3 p.m. for a meeting today at 4 p.m. <coughs> North Shore High School Class of 2023. The senior class of North Shore High School announces the commencement exercises Saturday morning, May 6, 2023 at 10 o'clock a.m. at the University Center at Southeastern Louisiana University, and one of our own, Ms. Kylie Elise Harris, will be one of the graduates yeah. recognized. Do we have any visitors? If we do, please make, stand and remain standing until you're made welcome. <coughs> if not, can you have a please have a blessing and take all the announcements into your accordance? Our prayer for illumination. Please join me. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that as scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, you may hear with joy what you say to us today. Our scripture lesson from the Old Testament will come from the 116th Psalm, verses 1 through 4 and 12 through 19. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray, save my life. Verse 12. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your servant girl. You have loosed my bounds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. The New Testament reading comes from Acts, the second chapter, verses 24, excuse me, verses 14a, and then 36 through 41. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins will be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, 
save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. Will you please stand and join me for the affirmation of faith? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You'll now hear from the youth choir with a selection followed by the pastoral prayer and altar call. Amen. That's probably one of my favorite songs. I remember singing it as a little kid, twirling my little pigtails. Um, 
talking about this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And because I just believed, even then when I heard that song, that I had a little light in me that everybody needed to see. So if you, if you don't know if you have a little light in you, then you need to just keep on singing that song. Keep on singing it. Keep on singing it till you believe that you have a light that the world needs to shine. Because we all have a light. And the world needs it to shine. And so as we get ready to move into this place of prayer, um, this place of saying to God, hey, God, it's us. Hey, God, we are here. Hey, God, do you see us? Hey, God, did you hear what I said when I was driving to church this morning? Hey, God, do you remember what I said I needed to feel from you today? Hey, God. So as we enter into this hey, God space, this space where we say to God, God, hey, we are indeed here, and God, um, we need you, and we are thankful for you, and we are looking for you, we are seeking you, we are yearning from you, for you. Um, all of those things that you brought into this place, put them at the forefront of your mind. And then um, we're going to lift up all of our uh, sick and shut-in members who are here listed. Um, I was told that uh, I'm going to mess it up. Uh, Kelly Jackson, right? Okay. Kelly Jackson had surgery but is recovering, all right? Um, and then um, Arvis was in the hospital, but Arvis is back there, so praise the Lord. And uh, um, then we want to lift up also, we have some people who are traveling. Um, and so we're going to begin to cover those who are traveling because the world that we live in, um, the world that we live in. And so we do have a few people that I am aware of. Um, some, some of y'all do like to tell me where y'all go, where y'all go. So when I look for at y'all pew and y'all not there, I can say I know where they are. But, um, that's neither here nor there. Hint, hint, hint. Wink, 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 wink. That as the summer comes, we do begin to, to travel and, and, and live which is what we are put on this earth to do is to live. And I, y'all know I encourage all, all of those, all of those good carrying ons. I encourage them. Um, but know that we're going to be praying for you also um, that um, while you're gone and that's whether or not you leave here on a, on a, on a plane, up in the car, on a boat, train, however you are going, um, um, our prayers will be continuous. So we have some people who are traveling now. Um, and so we want to cover them too. All right, so let's go to the Lord in prayer. Hey, God, it's us. Um, we are coming to you right now just thanking you for this day. Thanking you, Lord God, for all of the ways that you have covered us through the night, that you have covered us since we were here last week, that you have covered us in our comings and our goings. But then, Lord God, you have allowed for us to make it here either in person or online. And for that, we give you thanks. And so, Lord God, as we get ready to, to, to sit in this space and we come, we want to ask you, Lord God, to help us to prepare to hear from you. If we brought something into this space that we are carrying that weighs heavy on us, Lord God, we ask that you sit with us ever so sweetly in that space. We ask, Lord God, that you whisper ever so sweetly in our ears the things that we need to hear, that you prepare us, Lord God, that you situate us in front of your cross, in front of you, Lord God, so that we can hear from you, that we can experience you, we can see you, Lord God. And we, for that, we give you thanks. And so, Lord God, in this way, allow your Holy Spirit just to move, allow your Holy Spirit to, to be present, or allow your Holy Spirit to do only that which the Holy Spirit can do. And then allow us to lean into it, to live into it. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then allow us to, to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
God. I belong to 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 God. On the top of my head. To God, I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to God. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I belong to God. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I belong to God. To God, I belong 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 to God, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I belong to God, from the top of my head. Of my feet. I belong to God. 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 From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I belong to God. At the top of my head, to the soles of my feet, I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to God. I see them from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Just make me, that's a fun song, make you want to get up and dance. I didn't get up and dance this time because I was too busy making sure that what's in my phone yeah. for me to get up here and talk about is on this iPad. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Sometimes technology works like you want it to work, and then sometimes technology takes its time just a little bit. And so today it took its time just a little bit because what happens is, if you know anything about the phone and the iPad and all of them, they're supposed to connect. When you do one thing on one, it's supposed to show up the same way on the other. Right. Well, it was just a little delayed today, so I was back there praying that I didn't have to uh, yeah. make this bigger and preach from my cell phone. Anyways, hey, y'all. As you can see, I, um, I got a lot of energy this morning. Amen. All right. um, Chico is probably tired of me, but, you know. I told him, come on, boy, let's go outside. So we done been outside this morning, and it was just a beautiful morning. It felt good. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. Um, I laugh because when I do take Chico out, someone is Chico is on one. That's what I like to say. He is on one. He wakes me up, and it's like with the toy in his mouth, like, it is time. Now, get up. And so some mornings I laugh at myself because I'm like, Lord, as many people pass by on this on this busy street, yeah. I know they see me out there in my house. I have my whole long house robe on, looking like, if boy, if you don't go pee, this is just. <sighs> so it was one of those mornings. Chico and I had fun outside because he wasn't trying to do nothing that he was supposed to. 
He was chewing the stick, running after the bird. And in the middle of all of that, God said, just let yourself be free. What you, you up early enough? What you rushing for? Just let your, just be free in this moment. And so then I was like, well, thank you, God, because clearly today the title is Freedom. Now what? Hey, God, it's me, Tiffany, coming to you, just saying thank you again for this moment. Thanking you, Lord God, for um, my yes being my yes and me um, being used by you. And so, Lord God, there are words that I have I have tried to make sure it's on, not only on my phone but my iPad, but, Lord God, they are yours. You can have them. Take them back. I surrender. You just, just use me, God. Amen. Allow your people to hear exactly what they need to hear. And allow your Holy Spirit to be ever so present in this space. Thank you, God. Thank you. Now open us up, God, from our posture to our hands, to our, 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 our hearts, our ears, our eyes, to be able to see, feel you. Thank you, God. Now have your way. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, thank you, Kelly, for being all things. Yeah, all right, man. Yeah. All right. Yes. We can do all things yes, through sir. Christ who strengthens us. Um, so today, um, psalm, a psalm text, um, and it's probably one of my favorites. Y'all know I say that all the time, but it's, <laughs> and, um, I love the Lord yeah. because yeah. he has heard my voice yeah. and my supplications yeah. because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. Amen. The snares of death encompass me. The, the pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. Uh -huh. I suffered distress and anguish. Yeah. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I pray, save my life. Yeah. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Yes, Precious in, his, in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Verse 16 is key. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant the child of your serving girl. You have loosed my bonds. Another text verse says, and let me see if I can find the, the translation. Do I have it in here? On how it said in another verse. Um, I can't find it at this moment in all these notes, so I'll come back to it. Um, I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. And so, verse 16, and let me get it in the, another a translation. That's how all of this was happening in the first place. I was trying to add it. And as you can see, it didn't come where I wanted it to come and say what I wanted it to say. Um, in the CEB, it says, um, that part where it says, you have loosed my bonds. In the CEB, it says, you free me from my chains. And let me go to another, let me go to another one. In the message, um, in that particular part, um, it says, Oh God, here I am, your servant, your faithful servant. Set me free for your service. Free. Freedom. We talk about freedom all of the time, but do we honestly really know what it means to be free? And so here we are. It's been two weeks since Jesus got out of the tomb. And I call that sermon, There You Will See Him. And we celebrate it. Um, being able to see Jesus whenever you are in life, wherever you are in life and everywhere you go. 
We talked about our Savior no longer being dead, and because he lives, we should praise God because we live also. And then last week, we talked about rejoicing, and we should rejoice in that fact that our Savior lives. And I think when I think about Easter, Easter for me probably was perhaps the greatest interruption of life that we will ever see. Why do you call it an interruption? Because it was at that point how this resurrection, this death of Jesus interrupted life. The resurrection interrupted the mundane. It interrupted the chaos. It interrupted the brokenness of the people during that time. It interrupted the hopelessness. It interrupted. And so when something interrupts something, it has the ability to change it, yes. completely change it from one state to the next. Yes. Yes. But to know that Jesus got up, that um, the silence of not hearing Jesus for those three days was no more because early on that Sunday morning, Jesus got up and we get to say that our Savior lives. Mm -hmm. We get to celebrate. Yes. We get to rejoice. We get to live in the jubilation of the moment. We get to feel joy. And this week, I simply offer us the freedom that while we are rejoicing, this freedom that is yet here and ready for us to claim. It's ours, but will we? And so the psalmist, when we looked at the text, the psalmist cries out to the Lord and says that you, you have heard my voice, right? And, and, and my supplications. Yeah. And I, I love you because you've heard it. Yeah. I, I, uh, you heard my cry um, and my request for mercy. Yeah. Um, it says, and because he turned his ear to me because he inclined his ear to me. Uh -huh. I will call on him yeah. as long as I live yeah. because guess what that yeah. says? Yeah. He listens to me. Yeah. Then it says the cords of death entangled me. Mm. The anguish of the grave overcame me. I, you, we were overcome by distress and sorrow. Mm -hmm. And then it says, then I called on the name of the Lord, Lord, yeah. save me. Yeah. You see, that was verse 1 through 4, but it's verse 16 that got me stuck mm. this week. Yahweh, another translation, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. The beginning of verse 16 is saying that the psalmist there is acknowledging being Yahweh, that's, his, that's Jesus, being Jesus' servant, okay? Um, um, being the one that's obliged to do what God will. But he is not only a servant, but he is also the son of a servant, right? Um, and so when you think about the son of a servant, See, this what shows you is that um, it, it emphasizes that there is a, a um, this perpetual state that I'm a servant. Yeah. My mama and them was a servant. My great grandparents were servants. When I have children, they're going to be servants, mm -hmm. right? It's showing you that there, that you are going to be in perpetual yeah. servitude. Yeah. And then the second part of verse 16 says. You have freed my, um, me from my chains. Mm -hmm. And so what this is saying, but oddly enough, after acknowledging his servitude, the psalmist also acknowledged, uh, acknowledges his God-given freedom. Mm -hmm. How can the, service, the psalmist be both a servant and free at the same right. time? Right. See, that's possible because the psalmist is a voluntary yeah. servant, serving Yahweh out of gratitude. Gratitude that you heard my cry. Yes, sir. Gratitude that I can open my mouth and speak and you will hear me. Yeah. God said, heard him and saved his life. It is only natural then that the psalmist will pledge true loyalty to, to Yahweh. 
You see, this psalm is an individual psalm of thanksgiving. It, uh, the psalmist is giving thanks to the Lord for saving him. The psalmist doesn't spell out the nature of the impending death except that it was extreme. Well, death is, we look at that as an extreme. The psalmist cannot repay the Lord for this salvation act, but he can give thanks. Furthermore, he can also do this in a public setting Amen. where his thanks will honor God in the presence of those who have assembled. When God gave me the title, Freedom, Now What? It was the now what part connected to the freedom. You see, the thing is, when you've been set free from something that has held you captive, uh -huh. <laughs> what happens is there is still a loyalty that you have to the thing that held you captive. <laughs> Don't let me step on your toes. You, you see, when, when you get free, yeah. when, when you have asked God to, to do something for you and God has answered, yeah. And God has given you a, a power. God has, has allowed you to feel freedom. God has told you that it's okay. God has created a space for you. Right? Will you actually be free? Or will you question everything that you would want to do? Will you question, is it all right if I go and do this? Where your question is, huh? Will you question, can I? Or will you just live into the freedom and then go and do it? You see, freedom, when 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 we have been 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 uh captive to something, when it has controlled our every move, when we have looked at it and said, oh my gosh, um, I can't go and do that because I got to go and ask my mama. I think about um, when I turned, I was okay, I had gone to college, so I was 18. And apart by myself. Have you ever been in a moment where quickly you understood that something had, was changing and on that day, I tell that story when I think about freedom and the freedom that my parents gave me on that day. The freedom that my parents said, you have been through this airport enough with us. We trust you to get to your plane and get on it. To go through where you need to, to go down and get on the train, to read the signs and to get to your gate and to get on the plane, listen for when it's time for you to get on the plane, get on there, strap yourself yeah. in, and then take off and get the, sit down, get the, we trust you. All right. All right. On that day. And you, in that moment, you can't say to your daddy, and if you don't want to do it, it's all right, I can call somebody else <laughs> Because you still want to have a somewhere to slay your head when you get home. And so I had to navigate some things, navigate some things in freedom, in the freedom. And I sat him down and I said, but daddy, when you gave me and you, you showed me on that day, you yeah. released me in a yeah. way. When you released me, I just took that as I was released from be, having to have this kind of conversation and released to being in this space. It's not a bad I love you. Yeah. God hears you. Yeah, uh, I, I think about how sometimes we get stuck on saying the things that we need to say because we are afraid that it will fall on deaf ears. But the problem is if you never say it, right? But you also have to be willing and ready to say, hey, God, here I am. Hey, God, it's me. Um, um, do you know that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that gives new life? 
Uh, it's the same power that supplies whatever you need. It's the same power that covers you in the midst of your trials. Yeah. It's the same um, power that encourages you when you don't have anything yeah. left. You see, it's that, uh, that, still, that, that Savior that's going to yeah. come and save you. Yes, sir. That whatever you need, whenever you need, whenever, whatever you need, whenever you need it, the Lord is going to come. See, the yeah. psalmist understood that. The psalmist understood that I got to open my mouth and I got to cry out to the Lord that I got to. That means that when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, well, we had the opportunity, the ability, the space, the time, the, all the other things that you could put in there to say, God, will you forgive me? Yes, sir. God, I messed up. We, we're, we're not Old Testament where when your disobedience was, there was a consequence to your disobedience. We ain't there no more. We, 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 we moved on from that. And because we moved on from that, then that means, okay, God, I hear you. Yeah. Okay, God, I'm going I'm to try this thing out. All right. And I'm going to try this thing out over and over and yeah. over again. And if you know anything about the psalmist, the psalmist was like, I'm going to keep on trying. All right, now. Yes, sir. I know you're going to come see about me because you came and saw about me when I said the last time when I, right. you came. Yeah. Yes, sir. How many of you need the Lord to come? Amen. Yeah, uh, when we talk about freedom. Uh, it's the freedom from bondage of sin. You you not you not you not your sin can your sin can eat you alive if you never give it to the Lord. But it can't eat you alive if you always asking God, "Hey God, come yeah. see about me." Hey yeah. God, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, when we say eat you alive, the things that we ca that we carry that we should go ahead and just let go. The you free from your past. You're free from the things and the person you used to be. Some of us should have shouted, thank you, Jesus. I shouted, thank you, Jesus. Because that was a time when I wasn't trying to hear. I would go to church smelling like alcohol. See, y'all not ready for that. Y'all not ready for that, that truth. Where I partied with the girlfriends to, to the morning time, and, but I was so conditioned to know that church, I, if you can go party on Saturday night, you can go to church on Sunday. So I would pick out church clothes and club clothes. With your whole self in freedom. That nothing that you do, no decision, no choice, no nothing, that 
God knows it. Trust God with it. Because that's true freedom. That's true understanding that, the, that Jesus dying on the cross wasn't, wasn't an accident. Jesus dying on the cross wasn't, wasn't just a, a happenstance. That there was a purpose behind Jesus allowing Je- God allowing his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. We don't no longer have to be loyal to something that's not, that's gonna that's gonna take us out. You you are you you don't have to be loyal to 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 this place of not knowing and not you be loyal to God. Be loyal to God and what God will do in your life for you. Freedom is knowing that you are worthy. That you're worthy for God to hear your voice. That you're worthy for God to show up for you. That you are worthy for God coming to see about you. Some of us get stuck there. Not thinking we're worthy. Not thinking that we are enough. Not thinking that God really can do it and will do it for me. Freedom is not comparing yourself to somebody else. It's living your truth. Freedom is understanding your past and what happened in your past. But freedom is actually living it. Living in the present. That I don't have to be so far ahead yeah. and, and, and thinking that it's going to, because the, 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 the funny thing is, you want God to laugh, tell God your, your plans. <laughs> How, it's hard because we're not people who are used to just living in today. Waking up and saying, today is going to be a good day. Waking up and knowing and, and, and saying to God, and in your own, in your own God-given freedom, today's gonna be a good day. And no matter what happens. Yeah. See, that's the part, that no matter part. No matter what happens, it's still gonna be a good day. Because There's a freedom in knowing, go take a nap, go take a vacation, go take whatever you need because your community is going to, they going to, they going to show up. And I get it. We are trauma response people who the last time nobody showed up, they didn't do it right. Well, that's, we got to get rid of that right too. They did it and it got done, did they not? And it was well, wasn't it? Might not have been done how you would have done, but it got done. We got to trust. We got to begin to lean on one another in freedom, in this space of freedom that we have been given, to trust that the community is going to show up, that whoever we need to show up is going to show up, because that's freedom. Freedom allows for you to take care of yourself how you have to. 
in the way that you have to. Amen. Not to overexert, not to always, okay, so this is a, and I'm, I'm rounding the home base. I, I love my little children in the aftercare. One thing about my children in the aftercare, though, is they take care of everybody's business but they own. <laughs> You can be talking to one, and they is all in your business. Yeah. Not what you need. And when you do, God will come and see about you. Live in freedom. Live in your God-given freedom. Live in it. And know that God. God is there. The word of God. Uh, for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
program down there, Pastor, what did it say? Pa uh, Pastor. They're still behind me and cook y'all gonna sing y'all song and then y'all gonna run to the back all righty good job okay